I just had uh, this terrible pain in my chest under my left breast and it radiated up my neck into my jaw. And I really didn't think anything of it. I didn't think of it as a heart attack at all. And Dr. White came in first thing in the morning to see me and you know, he told me, he says, we're gonna do um, an angioplasty, we're gonna go in through your wrist. My um, artery was, was blocked 99%, so I think I was really past anything that medication could have done at that time. If Miss Held had not had a stent to treat her heart attack, the damage she would have suffered would have been quite large. It was a very big heart attack waiting to happen, looming for her. I think everybody knows somebody that's had chest pain, uh, and when patients fail medical therapy, uh, we put stents in to improve people's quality of life. Uh, one of the great uses of stents, really, is to stop heart attacks. And so there's been a national uh, protocol called door to balloon time, meaning how quickly from the time the patient hits our front door to the time we open that artery is what gauges how well we do with them. And the, door, the time limit for us is 90 uh, minutes. And most places in the U.S. today are hitting that timeline on a regular basis. The guidelines that govern us are very important, and they provide a framework and a structure, both moral, ethical, as well as academic, in order for us to conduct our practice. They're important, we support them. But every day, I have to use my best judgment to take care of my patient. They found out I did need a stent, I had uh... Uh, the artery that's on the back side of my heart, it was 99% closed. Uh, they did put in a stent. Uh, it worked beautifully. He took pictures that showed the blood uh, totally blocked off before. After the stent was in, everything was 100% numb. So a stent is a little tiny metal coil that we use uh, in angioplasty to open up and keep arteries open. It's kind of a little scaffold that keeps the artery open and allows blood to flow normally to a heart muscle, uh, especially in a heart attack or when people are having chest pain or angina. I went to do a stress test and uh, that's when we found out that I had a blocked artery. It was blocked 98% uh, left main and uh, it made me feel a lot of pain in my chest and I was very weak. I was playing golf right here in, in Gainesville and on the uh, fourth hole I thought I had what was a stomach ache. It was so low in the abdomen but it was so intense I should have thought it was more than just a stomach ache but it actually just bit me over. So uh, a doctor did um, a heart cath and found that I was 85% blocked in the main ascending or descending artery, the one they call the Widowmaker. So stents have dramatically made a difference in patients' lives. Number one, they relieve symptoms. They relieve symptoms of heart failure or shortness of breath. They relieve angina or chest discomfort with activity. And they're very effective at that. In fact, uh, that's probably the strongest benefit that they bring to patients. They have also reduced mortality, uh, especially during heart attacks.
I chose interventional cardiology because it was the best way that I could impact patients' lives. It is the most appropriate way I know to make patients feel better. I can directly take a patient in the morning who is not feeling well, having chest pain or shortness of breath, and by that afternoon have them walking in the hallway completely happy with their physical activity. Life is good. We, uh, I'm looking forward to spending a lot of time with my family, my wife and my sons, uh, fishing and, and uh, riding my motorcycle and doing the things that we, we like to do. Well, if it wouldn't be for stents, I would not be here today. Oh, I think that the stent more than likely saved my life. Comparing open heart surgery to the stent, I, I, my recovery would have been much longer, I'm sure, with the open heart surgery. I feel great, so I had to trust them. I had to trust that they were going to do what's best for me. And you just have to put yourselves in their care, and that's what I did. And I'm very happy with the outcome. I could probably live to in my 90s, but I had to make a few lifestyle changes. Uh, the stent shouldn't cause any problem whatsoever and suggested to me continue the exercise, make some dietary changes, which I have, and uh, the outlook and prognosis has been good and i felt great since. These guys work 24-7. They are waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning for door to balloon time. They're the guys who are popping out of their beds, missing their children's soccer games so that they can take care of somebody's heart. They don't know the person who they're coming to the emergency room for. It's a complete stranger to them, and yet they drop everything in their lives to go and rush to do this. It's a fireman syndrome. We get adrenaline from that. We know we're gonna meet a challenge, and we have confidence that we can achieve and beat this challenge. I think unequivocally, uh, interventional cardiologists and the placement of stents, stopping heart attacks have saved thousands of lives in this country and, and certainly made hundreds of thousands of people's lives better. I love doing what I do every day because uh, I really feel like we're, we're helping people. Um, some of the best things I hear from patients are, you know, thanks doc, uh, you know, basically you really saved my life.